Let's do it. Michael Gogan, Company Cam. Great How's to see you, man. man. Yeah. We've been hanging out a lot this quarter. It's Absolutely. been a lot of fun yeah, here at Win the sure. Storm. And you've been, you were at another conference this week? Yeah, I've been at two actually. I was at a pool building conference uh, first of the week and at a painting conference yesterday and here at the Win the Storm today. Oh, so three in this week? Three in a week, yeah. Dude, knock yeah. it out. That's, yeah. that's pretty efficient. Yeah. So you're in front of, I mean, you're, you're seeing thousands of contracting companies all throughout the country, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the characteristics that the more successful ones have in common yeah so I would say like at the you know root of everything is they've got strong leadership and strong culture mm -hmm. um, you know we'll, we can get into some of the other things that they're doing from you know like uh, documentation marketing those things right. but at the root of it they've got extremely great leadership um, they grow their leadership and then mm -hmm. they that leads to a good strong culture and so able to scale able to retain people I mean yeah. I think that's one of the biggest things is the guys that are winning they've had people with them for three, five, ten years, right. they're not turning that over. And so yeah. that's where you really see your growth. Yeah, you see that like on the CEO panel here at Win the Storm, these guys are doing 50, 100, 140 million, mm -hmm. and they're talking about culture and team. They're not talking about, you know, cost per lead or like, you know, minute things. They're talking about that as a nucleus of their company. And, yeah. and not having to hire and retrain an army every single year, but having those people year in and year out because you have like, good systems going on, you have a good brand, you have a vision for where you're going, yep. you have a good plan of action, you know your numbers and everything like that. So Absolutely. this industry, there's a lot of turnover, so having that culture is key. For sure. I would say too though, like, you know, once you get the culture and that like foundation set, embracing technology is yeah. is massive. Whether right. it's, you know, what you guys are doing from a marketing standpoint, what we're doing from a documentation standpoint, you've gotta embrace technology. Uh, you know, because even if you say, "Hey, I'm on, I'm on my way out. I'm going to exit in the next three years," mm -hmm. that's great. If you don't have your systems and processes in a tech, technical form, right, that you can hand off to somebody, you don't have anything to sell. It's There's like, no asset there. Yeah, right. Someone's going to buy into your systems, like your yep. your way of doing things, like a franchise almost. Absolutely. Right? What's up with Company Cam? You guys are growing like crazy. Growing fast, yeah. So, like we said, we were in all these different events uh, this week. So we're in all the verticals. Yeah. Um, is yeah, roofing so, your biggest or? Yeah, roofing's definitely our biggest. And someone asked me uh, yesterday at the painting conference, they were surprised as to why. And I said, well, we're owned by a roofing company. So we knew roofing. Right. So it was just easy for us to come in and, you know, we knew the pain points. We knew what issues contractors were having. Yep. And as we learn those in these other industries, it's great. But at the end of the day, it, it comes down to, hey, my guys need to be documenting what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And we somehow need to get that back to the office so that it's usable. Right. And, um, we're, we do that now, but we've got some really cool stuff coming that's okay. going to make that even easier. So. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of technology here at the show, a lot of software companies, marketing companies. Um, it's, it's like for a contractor to figure out what they need to put in place. It needs to make sense for their business. They need to have a system to make it seamless. Like with you guys, it's like you don't want to take a thousand photos, have them on your phone and figure out how to get them, you know. Absolutely. We have clients, like our clients are doing ads and, and photos and videos and like, oh yeah, I have videos, I have photos somewhere on my phone and my sales guy's phone. And I'm like, send them over to us and it takes them, you know, yeah. weeks to gather that stuff, you Absolutely. know. So what you guys are doing solves a major problem. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. So there's a lot of options out there, technology, software, all that, like what, and you see a lot of it because you guys yeah. integrate with a lot of it. Yeah. So how do you recommend contractors like, figure out what's right for them and like how to, cause they don't, you don't want to waste money. You don't want to waste time. You don't want to waste that opportunity of trying something out for six months. It doesn't work. And you're like, oh man, I'm back where I started. Right. Mm -hmm. So like, what's the shortcuts to making a, a smart decision on yeah. this stuff? So I think one of the biggest things is find that, find that source that you trust, whether mm -hmm. that be a vendor that you've got a good relationship with, um, a group like the catalyst group, um, our event we're doing, the Highway to Hail tour, you know, we vetted everybody on that. Like, it wasn't like we just said, hey, Contractor Dynamics, we want you to come with us. We right. said, man, these guys are best in class. Mm -hmm. They do things the right way. They're going to get stuff done for the contractors. We want to put them in front of a lot of our clients. And right. so, you know, find that uh, 
place that you can get your information from, whether it be a group, a vendor, um, because all of us vendors know each other. Right. And not saying that if you're not on Highway to Hell, you're not a good company. Well, but, that's kind of true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, can say it. But, but we, you know, we vetted those people hard right. and it was like, you know, I would feel confident sending any of my clients to any of the other vendors on Highway right. to Hell. And that's, that's an important thing, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Being that trusted advisor to your clients, like we take that, that role and responsibility seriously. And if someone, one of our clients asks us for a recommendation that we don't have like a good solution, we won't just like pick anyone. I'll, I'll say like, I don't really have like a, a recommendation that I'm confident in, but I'll, I'll find one for you. Yeah, you know? and that usually comes down to like one of your vendor friends and you're like, right. hey, so I've got somebody looking for this. Do you know anyone? And then we just keep passing it on down and we, we find you that solution. So. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, it's awesome to talk with you, Mike. I'll yeah, let you, you go. Bet. Day sure. is starting here. we got a big yeah, day. Yeah, rolling ahead. here. So, uh, yeah, day yeah. two. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, no problem, Joseph.